Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad, coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalil Zad has said that concrete progress on Afghan peace talks is still awaited. Khalil Zad met Prime Minister Imran Khan and Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad. In a tweet, Khalil Zad said he discussed the important role Pakistan has in helping deliver peace and reconciliation in Afghanistan. He said Pakistan's officials assured him of support in the Afghan peace process. Meanwhile, U.S. has requested Pakistan to arrange talks involving Taliban and Kabul administration. Moving on, Pakistan has asked the United Nations to probe human rights abuses in occupied Kashmir. In a meeting with UN General Assembly Chief, Prime Minister Imran Khan urged the establishment of a commission to investigate the abuses. In a separate meeting, President Arif Alvi also highlighted Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir. UN General Assembly President Maria Espinoza is in Pakistan on a five-day visit. Next up, three Indian soldiers have been killed and two others injured in Pakistan's response to Indian shelling from across the line of control. According to Pakistan military, Indian troops initiated unprovoked firing in Khwirata and Port Katera sectors, targeting civilian population. Pakistani troops responded effectively, targeting Indian posts. Over to Palestine, where Israeli occupation forces have injured at least 30 Palestinians during protests in the Gaza Strip. Palestinian officials said that Israeli soldiers targeted a crowd of more than 20,000 protesters along the Gaza border. At least 220 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli troops in border protests since last March. Meanwhile, a US-led coalition's airstrike has killed 20 people in Syria's eastern city of Deir ez-Zor. Syria's state media said that the airstrike targeted civilians as they were trying to flee from an ISIS-held village. And US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has accused President Donald Trump of endangering Americans in Afghanistan by leaking details of a planned congressional trip. The White House has rejected Pelosi's charge, calling it outrageous. Meanwhile, President Trump has said he would further limit travel by Congress members during the government shutdown. That was all for the moment. Thank you for watching in this news. Stay with us.